everyone, it's Kim. So I'm gonna try um, cutting um, the Fearless that I did for Emily of Shady Design Studio. I couldn't wait when I got home. Well, we had to go to dinner, but I wanted to cut the end off so I could see it, but this is just the end. I love the way the mica looks in there, so metallic and everything. It does have a, a flame type of look. And now, it's like dun 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 dun. Let's see if I can um, cut through these embeds somehow. I'm gonna try one with the wire cutter and see how it goes. But oh yeah, well, it's kind of soft still. But there it is. With that, here's the side. Okay. Well, okay, so there you go. And so there is the glycerin melt and pour and the cool um, coat hanger um, swirl. I really like it. And that is the top. And I used um, raspberry, um, well, what I colored the um, actual uh, melt and pour glycerin soap with was 24 karat um, uh, mica. But then I took some raspberry mica and, and gold and the 24 karat uh, mica, mica and just dusted the top just to give it a little interest because that was the same color that I used down here. So let's see. Hope I get lucky again. There's another one. And I did um, put this in the oven. Um, I have a speed bake oven that is electric. And I figured out that if I turn the oven on and preheat it, and it, I put it at 170, I can set the timer and put the soap in there for 10 minutes. And I turn off the oven after 10 minutes, and I leave the soap in there for at least an hour overnight. And I just keep watching it to make sure that it doesn't overheat. And if I feel that it's going to start overheating, if it stays in the oven, I take it out of the oven and I just set it on top of the stove uninsulated, uncovered, everything, and I just leave it sitting there. I mean, I live in a warm climate, so I guess that makes a difference. But if I let my um, soap stay in the oven, I mean, I leave the oven on longer than 10 minutes, then I know, I can almost guarantee it's become a pattern where my soap will have a lot of fragrance seepage and be real greasy like, or you know, like the oils aren't absorbed. And then it takes longer for it to like, you know, absorb them and cure. But it's just something that over time, I've noticed that every time I've done that and left it in there a little bit longer because I think, oh, it needs a little bit more time, then I regret it. So that that's what I've noticed. Now, if it happens again and it and I, didn't do that well then I'll figure something that it's something else but but right now that's what I'm figuring that it is but I'm real happy with this and I hope that um, this represents some um, Emily in a good way you know that she likes it I really really love the, there's the citrus note is strong because that is the top note but the dry down and the the way it settles, it has that delicious honey-eyed tobacco smell at the end, aroma that is really yummy. This is so cool. It's so happy looking. Now, of course, you know, it's going to wash off. I mean, it's just for the looks, I mean, as far as that on the top. But, I mean, isn't it all? I mean, don't we always make our soaps because we want them to be attractive and pretty. I mean, they're not just utilitarian and functional. I mean, you can make something that's good for your skin and nice and still have it, you know, have your own style and fancy. It doesn't have to really mean anything. It's just, you know, how you interpret it. And right now, for me, I've always done artistic things that my medium that I like to work with is um, soap. I still have other things that I like to do, but 
I really enjoy being creative and doing different stuff with this with um, making soap. It's fun. I never would have dreamed I'd be doing this. So I guess because I'm I made the curl so thin when I did these flames that they're you know cutting and it's been less than 24 hours basically I would say since I made it because I guess it was around no actually it's about the same time it's it's been 24 hours so but these um, flames are pretty flexible Yep, really cool. So anyway, I just wanted to show you, just in case I got any questions, I just thought I'd go ahead and, and show you what I did. So, my nappy little dish towel here. I took my um, potato peeler and I did a long curl. And I put even pressure on it to where it's about that thick, okay? Then I just cut it in half with some kitchen shears or scissors, my craft scissors, and then I took and just cut out long pieces. And not, there's not going to be any waste because you guys all know that when you work with melt and pour, I can just take these little pieces here, these little bits, and either use them as embeds or I can melt them back down and use them again. Um, you know, make make more of these, you know, just make another little brick. So then I had something like this, okay? So then I just took and twisted it. And I twisted them in different directions so it would have that flame look. Emily suggested that they look like um, a J, uh, Dave Chihuly um, art um, installation and that's great because I love that that glass art so then I took and I made it like an S you see that so it would have some kind of movement in there and so that's what I did I made a bunch of these and like someone had suggested which was a good suggestion it's valid that I could have made them in different colors but at the time I was just working out of my element I had never done this before so you can do them in all different colors I mean it's limitless of what you could do but as far as the flames go and what I did this is how I made it so I'll do one more and I'll show you so you just take your scissors and I just cut little pieces out no rules they didn't have to be straight they didn't have to be measured I just wanted the tips though to be kind of thin so it would look like the tips of flames. So then you just twist it. And I tried to do them in opposite directions so they would, you know, play against each other. And then I did the little S thing here at the bottom. And then I just let them set. And I put them over to the side until I had my soap batch ready. And then that's when I put them in the top. And I dusted them with um, some more micas. And um, that's it. So I just thought I'd share that with you. And I hope you guys have a great um, rest of the week. Um, tomorrow's hump day. So have a great day. And I will talk to you this weekend.